Hi there, this is a brief video to walk you through the process of creating your own group within Snapfix. Within Snapfix, groups are where all tasks are hosted. They can be broken up depending on department or the type of activity and work that needs to be done, depending on your specific needs. In order to create a group, you're going to need to go to the My Groups page. This is the page you'll be automatically directed to when first opening the app. From here, we're looking in the upper right-hand area of the screen. In the top right-hand corner, you'll see our search function denoted with the magnifying glass, and we're gonna look directly under that. This is the Add Groups icon. Once selected, you'll notice additional information is available in the lower quadrant of the screen. And this is where you can choose if you wanna create a completely customized group or choose from one of the predefined templates created for you. So for the purpose of this example, we're going to go to the first option, add a group, which is the customized group. Here, you're given the opportunity to configure a group from start to finish. In order to create your group, we'll be looking at the three tabs located within this setting. So you have your details tab, your users tab, and your tags tab. And you can navigate between these three tabs at the top navigation bar within the group creation modal. Then we're going to return to the details tab and from here we need to input our group information. So up first we need to give our group a name. So for the purpose of this example we're going to call this the housekeeping group. Next you can give the group an address or description. This is required information but how you wish to use it is completely up to you. If you're working on a site that has multiple buildings you may want to put the building name here. But if you're working in one location, or if it's applicable, you may feel a description will serve your team better. So what I'm going to put here is I'm just going to give a brief, a brief description and call this the housekeeping activity log. So that new users to the site can clearly identify that this group is for logging housekeeping activities. You'll then need to choose your business name. This is predefined and you'll be presented with a drop down list of options if applicable. This user is only associated with one business in Snapfix, so I'm going to choose the Snapfix success team as my business name. You will see your own company's name here. Now, following on from here, all the rest of the information added to the details tab is not required, but it is nice to have, especially as your team grows and your scale and your site scales. It's important that it's clear what each group does and the purpose for it. And the following um, inputs are exactly what this refers to. You can include the purpose of your group to make it clear exactly what you're measuring here and what kind of tasks are being logged, or you can add instructions. You can also define what each of the traffic lights color status means by um, updating the text here, or you can leave it as it defaults. Finally, within your detail setup, you can see that you can choose to have tags required for tasks. Now, we do recommend enabling this to ensure that you're getting rich data all the time when tasks are logged. And what this means is that if enabled, a person will not be able to, to create a task unless they've attached the relevant tags. Here we could be talking about location, category or equipment tags or any customized tags that you as an organization have chosen to include. And that's our details tab covered. So what we're going to move to now is the user area. So within the user area, you'll be able to decide who has access to your group. Each group within Snapfix is managed entirely independently, meaning that a user may have access to one group as an administrator and may not be included in another group at all. So they won't have visibility on the group itself or any of the tasks. So it's important you make sure that anyone who needs access to your group is given access. You can do this now or at a later time once you have all your tasks and group configured. With the user area, you can see that first you'll have a list of any of the users in this group. By default, you're gonna be automatically added to this group because you're the creator of the group and as such, you'll need to be able to see what you've created. You'll then see a list of your Snapfix contacts and any of your team members who have been added to any groups you're working with on the site will be listed here and you can simply tap their name for them to be included within this group. If you want to add any new users, you can do so by at looking at the add user function in the lower right hand area of the screen. You can update users permissions by tapping the pencil icon next to their name. 
From here, you can update their role and change them to an admin, or if they're a user, you can tap on advanced permissions and simply check any of the checkboxes required for the permissions you wish them to hold within this group. When you're happy with the updates you've made, you can simply select done and those changes will be applied. Finally, we have our tags tab. So tags are an essential part of the system, whereby they allow you to add additional properties to each tag that you can review by and filter by. This is especially important when it comes to reporting, as you will be able to pull reports based on tags associated with your tasks. By default, we recommend location, assets and category, but this is completely customizable and can be unique to each of your business processes. For, to update your tags, you simply tap the pencil icon next to the tag name. In this, in this situation, we have location. And you can add your tags by pressing the plus icon there at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. If you have a predefined list available, you can upload a CSV file by tapping the CSV icon in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, and it will automatically upload your tags for you. To use this function, you simply need to list all of the tags names down one column within a spreadsheet and then upload the spreadsheet. When you're happy with all the changes you've made here, you can simply select done and your tags will be updated. And these tags will be available to add to any tasks within your group. You can do this for the assets and category tag by following the exact same process. When you're happy with all the tags you've configured and you've added all users who need to have eyes on the group, you're then ready to create your group. To create the group and save the changes that you've implemented, simply select the backup arrow located next to the create new group heading at the top of your view. As you can see, my group has been created and I now can access the group as I would an existing group on the site, create tasks and get to work. I hope this helps, but if you have any questions, feel, please feel free to get in touch anytime at success at snapfix.com. Thank you.